America is the first ever. So um, Hermes is our first guest of the night and of, of the entire series. And I wanted to tap in with artists from everywhere. That's why we're doing Instagram Live. Um, and again, if you're just joining us, I'm Jessica Dean of 97 Out of the Box. And um, yeah, so we'll be doing these, these uh, podcasts to get to know artists. And like I mentioned before, the people that were watching before, um, you know, there's all these stories behind the artists. And, you know, people will see the glitz, the glimmer, um, you know, all of the, you know, shiny cars, the videos, but they don't know sometimes the story behind what it takes to be an artist. And so, Hermes, I wanted to introduce you to everybody. Um, but tell us where you're from and tell us a little bit about um, your journey in getting to where you're at today as an artist. Uh, so I go by Hermes the God. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, a little background about myself. Mm -hmm. Cause I know you got uh, a story. You got oh, a yeah. crazy story. Yes. And I know a lot of people can relate to this and I want people to know how possible it is for them to be able to come out of anything and yeah. still make it happen. Man. So, uh, so I was, I was being kind of successful, uh, about, nine ten years ago with my music i was on the music scene i was doing some big shows i was doing big artists had a little buzz i was getting played on the radio uh well it came to a point where uh just living the wrong lifestyle doing the wrong things and uh i got caught up in some stuff and i ended up uh getting incarcerated for seven years and uh now i've been out going on two years and a month uh and this where i'm at now so yeah man that's the bottom of the barrel right there like you can if I'm able to do it, I know a lot of people can. You know, I've just been so focused with my music, so focused on everything that I'm doing as far as uh, myself. I actually own my own studio, too. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I own my own studio. Uh, uh, I come from a, a single parent, a mother, you know, uh, in the streets. I was always doing just the wrong things. You know, I always found myself doing the wrong things. And, yeah, so... So now, when, I'm, when, I'm, you, yeah. you, when you had the second chance to finally, after seven years, and now that, oh, yeah, nice. Y'all tap in with Hermes. Yeah. Yes. Y'all tap in with this man. So, you know, you're doing seven years. You already had a taste of the music industry. So now you're out two years in. Like, I know you have this extra hunger going on. So tell us about that and, and the way that you're moving now versus the way you were moving before. Well, you know, before, like, like I, I literally felt like, you know, my dreams was, they taken right from me, right under my feet, you know, because the, the childish and the, the the immature lifestyles and things that I was doing, you know, I, I just wasn't, I wasn't, my mind, I, I wasn't a man mentally, you know, I was wrong, but wasn't doing the right things. So I got myself good now. I'm hungry. Clearly, I got, uh, I, I mean, Literally, I invest everything into my music. Everything I do is all about my music, my image, my projects, my, my craft. That's everything that I'm doing as far as my own studio, my own things. I'm signing artists. I got two artists under me. Uh, I got my own record label. Uh, I own uh, uh, my own studio. I got three LLCs. Uh, I own a smoke shop. So, and, and I, I, I entwine it all together with, with my music, you know, yeah. from, from grand openings and Telling artists to come out, cap G's, twisted blacks, like we we do little things for the community, give back. So I'm just trying to do a whole 360 from the way I, I was into, you know, now, and you know, it's just a matter of time. Right, right, right. Um, and so, like you said, you know, you have all of these things going on, and so you understand that this is a business, right? Because you have your LLCs, yes. Uh, yes. you know, you're bringing other artists in. Um, what what have you learned as far as you being a business person and how important is that part uh, to continue to be successful in your in your music side and it, because like being a creative and being a business person are two different things but they can be one how do you do that i'm gonna tell you right now mind over matter you got to really stay focused you know you really just got to stay focused and i did a lot of time and i did a lot of meditating I'm just I, I have a I like to have fun but I'm very disciplined at the same time like I, I'm more disciplined than a, a lot of things a lot of people might not see the disciplinary part that that I've had to go through but most definitely I had to go through that you know I went through the fire so and now you know I consider myself pretty disciplined I just keep my mind focused on 
the main thing, which is my music, mm -hmm. you know, that, and, mm -hmm. and I entwine everything in my brand, my stamp, which is my pyramid, ATWM, all this money making. And I just, you know, I just, I just got to keep going. I got to keep going and everything's a business for me. I make everything as best as I can to a brand with a business, put my name on yeah. it, put my stamp on it. Yeah. And so, like, I like that you have, like, you know, your, your logo set out, you have your branding going on. So, um, how did you come up with that, with that type of brand? Like, how, how did you come up with your logo? Uh, like I said, uh, it, it had a lot of time. I had a lot of time on my hands. And a pyramid uh, is a symbol for power, you know, and, and there, there's a lot of spirituality behind the pyramids. You know, it, it symbolizes power, but overall there's a bunch of spiritual behind it. I'm a very spiritual individual. You know, I consider myself very spiritual. And uh, I came up with it from basically, it, it's it's symbol, it, it's a pyramid, but the symbol is also an A. If you look at it, it's an A, and my record label is ATWM Studios. So, like, so, so you see the A in it, and yeah. it's, pure, it's brick by brick, you know, it was built. ATWM Studios, you know. If you're ever in Fort Worth, Texas, y'all, y'all go ahead and hit me up, man, for studio time, man, right here. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm just, I just came up with it with the A right there. You see the T, you see the M and the M for all this money making, man. I, I, it's really was simple to be honest with you. When I came up with it, it was actually a stick figure. <laughs> like, yeah, it was just a stick figure, an A, a T, and an M and M, and I, and I gave it to somebody and was like, hey, uh, like. Like I'm trying to make this into a pyramid, you know, and they came up with with all the, you know, cool looking extras. Yeah, and shout out to our graphic artists out there. They got that 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 vision, right? <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and see, like, there's there's a lot of talent uh, in jail, in prison. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's sad, but it's a lot of uh, a lot of talent. There's, there's yes. my wall, Selena. Oh man, Nipsey. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, like I said, that that was the, that was what my stick figures came out to be right there, the A T M M. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. So, for those that are not familiar with your music, um, and a little bit of history of that, so you said you were doing music prior, um, you know, were they albums, just kind of mixtape projects, and now what do you got going on? So basically, back in the day, it was, it was just me. BSing around and I just happened to have the talent and I was pretty good and a lot of people started liking my music and a buzz and Next thing you know, I started taking it a little serious and I had a bunch of opportunities I messed them up by you know messing up So I just want to let people know man, whatever you got whatever you're doing man You got to stay focused on your dreams stay focused on your business and, and, and keep going Don't let anything stop you don't let jail don't let distractions don't let a woman a man or whatever it may be distract you you know mm. you just keep going keep grinding stay down man i'm trying to tell you right now it's it's possible uh as far as my new projects man i don't i'm doing biz, uh music with i heard about yeah, you i heard about yeah, you i got a, i got a <laughs> lot of big big songs with big big rappers out i i don't drop them i haven't dropped them yet because my management i have a management and uh i'm on the verge of already getting signed and i really haven't put no Mu like music out too far as of right now i got four singles out uh my newest one is uh it's called lit in the city featuring cap g and brick uh big brick Wolfpack. yeah uh, yeah and it's a it's, it's a banger you know it's getting a little attention it's, it's doing more streams and views right now um uh, i got a song also with uh twisted black i got a song with uh my cousin drew benji's and then i have a there's another one I have out. Uh, I can't remember which one it is, but I oh with, with my two artists that I signed, okay. Denaro and uh, Thirty One Scott. Yeah, dope, dope, dope. Okay, so you said you're waiting on on like a deal. So is that important for you to kind of hold on to those tracks before? Yeah, because it's a catalog, like and it and it and, and, and it increases my value. Uh, basically, uh, a record label wouldn't be able to come with anything less than a certain amount of numbers because they know what that feature is worth and what numbers that song is going to do, especially with the big major deals promotions, if they put it out there. They know it's going to get so much attention, so many millions of views, and that that's that's uh, that holds weight. And I have one with uh, Big X to plug. I have one with that Mexican OT. 
I have uh, songs with Solo Lucci. I got songs with uh, Go Yayo. Uh, I got songs with uh, Brown. He's a local artist in Dallas. He's 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 got a he's one of the only artists that he got a Mexican OT and a D Baby on the same song. Whoa. Yeah, and that's a bad thing oh, too. So. So do you feel uh, like some of those projects, like, because I'm curious to know how you went from, you know, just, you know, working hard, doing what you're doing, the quality of music's there, you got your business sense going. How are you now in talks with somebody that's potentially going to sign you or you're in the works of that? How, how did that connection come about? I know the right people. And in this game, you know how critical that is. You know the right people. Okay. I'm just dealing with someone right now that's real good at doing what he does as far as uh, numbers and getting attention on uh, artists. And a lot of his artists that he is, uh, he's been dealing with, they're getting deals from uh, 500, 500K up to a million. And he's, got, uh, he's gotten a few of them deals already. And uh, he, as he would say, he did that off of a shoestring budget. And uh, I, I, I actually paid him. So he's like, this is not going to be no problem. We three to six months. And uh, we already contacted some people and we, they already told us what they want us to do. And that's what we're going to do. Ain't, ain't nothing going to stop it. Just going to yeah. do it. That's what's up. You know, and that, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have this Hustle Vida podcast was because I have a platform called Hustle Vida and of course, Hustle Town Network. One is for artists and one is for businesses. And I feel like they should mesh. They should work together. You're a business guy. I saw somebody in the comments say something about you buying a smoke shop. A yeah. smoke shop too. Yeah. So you got a studio, a record label, yep. a smoke shop, yeah. and you're an artist. Yeah. All right. Salute, man. Salute, 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 salute. Oh, I appreciate salute. it. Because I feel like that's what it takes sometimes to get you from point A to point B. You, it, it's great to be an artist. It's great to be a creative. There's a lot of creative people out here, but you got to kind of have the money sense. And if you don't have the money sense, tapping with people who do, just like you said, somebody who's good with numbers, knowing the right people, making those connections, and that's going to set you off to a different level yes. um so i want to also salute some of the sponsors that made this podcast happen uh northwest educational center um i'm going to be posting a lot about them so make sure you tap in with them if you want to get higher education also next uh, next gen customs um also help me out but um let's get back to you hermes um if you're just joining us right now i'm jessica jeans of 97.9 the box a founder of hustle town network and the hustle vita podcast and we are here talking with artist hermes he is out of fort worth texas um and man we are talking about his life, uh, what got him here to the music industry and what's keeping him here in the music industry and also the latest project. So now that we've discussed a lot, I want to talk about what you're pushing at this particular moment that people can go and tap in. Where can they support you right now? What, what, what is it that you need? What You need more views on a certain song? What, what is it you're pushing at so, the moment? So right now, uh, just everything that I'm, I'm pushing basically on YouTube and on Apple, you know, it's on all it's on all platforms, all social medias and everything. I just need more. Basically, I just need uh, more support, you know, because at the end of the day, there's not one artist. And I'm talking about the biggest artists out here from Drake to the small locals like me. We're going to be nothing without the fans and without the support of the people. Y'all are the real ones that make this happen. A lot of people will be like, oh, you got everything. Like, what's stopping you? Sometimes it's the lack of support that that we don't understand and I speak in general because I'm, I'm an artist, but at the same time, I'm a fan of certain artists too. And I listen to their music. And if I never shared nothing or no one ever shared none of Drake's music, Drake would never been heard or uh, nobody, you know, from right. that, you know, to, to, to whoever you name it. It's just. That signal over here, I guess it's like a tornado watch or something going oh, on over oh, here. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty, the weather is pretty bad over here. <laughs> All right, for sure. For show okay so we were talking about where they can find you and the support that you need so uh okay. make sure that they tap in with you and find where they got to go right on, now where do they got to go right now on all platforms hermes the god with a z like brand uh clothing brand hermes it's, it's hermes with a z like hermes is hermes uh, the god and that's on all platforms i'm on apple i'm on uh vendor on stump or there, there's so many of them i'm on but we were youtube Facebook, TikTok, you name it. Just type my name in. I'm going to pop up. I got a lot of my projects and a lot of views. I get my most love on TikTok. I've got almost a million views total all together ah. on all my videos on there. So. Nice, nice. Make sure y'all follow this man on TikTok. It's Hermes, H-E-R-M-E-Z, 
the god T H E G O D. All right. Make sure y'all tap in with them. And um, the song, of, because I, I, I told everybody that I'm going to put your um, video on Hustle Town Network. We're going to upload it also on the Hustle Town Network YouTube so people to tap in, see it, we'll promote it. Um, what song in particular are we doing? Uh, we're doing uh, Brick, uh, Lit in the City, with featuring Brick and Cap G. Woo! Uh, Lit in the City. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. be looking out for that. Again, I'm going to be posting the links. I'm going to be posting that full video um, and that way y'all can check it out, man. Become fans. If you're not fans already of Hermes, the God, support him. Y'all heard his story, man. He's, he's just like us, man. All of us out here have had one struggle or another, but it's testament right here to show that regardless of what you got going on, get your money sent. Um, link up with the right people. Um, you know, people that know, but you, you want to follow people that have success. Like there's a lot of people that can run game on you and tell you, oh, this is the way you do it. This is the way you do that. And just giving you wrong uh, information, wrong. but you're right. So you want to make sure that you're leading and being led by people that have a, a proven track record. And that's exactly what you have done, Hermes. Um, and I want to continue to follow you uh, your steps and the things that you're doing, because I feel like you're a great example of what is it, getting the right features too, because everybody, it, it, it's, everybody's so talented, the people that you're working with, you're talented, man, that song is absolute fire. So I'm in full support of that. So anything else that you want um, our, our viewers to, to know? Most definitely. I want everybody watching that, that might have left and came back or whatever, man, just keep God first. Just keep God first man uh and just push it just push it and just remember all the time man that you're not gonna go through nothing that he he ain't have planned for you everything for a reason so if you're going through it it for a reason so y'all keep god first man most definitely that's what i want y'all to know mm. i'll take that myself I'll take that myself, man. Thank you for tapping in with us, Hermes. If there isn't anything that Hustle V, the Hustle Town Network can do for you, you're welcome every time, anytime here. Also at our studios here. So tap in with me anytime. And we're going to keep in touch with you and just look out for that promo because it's coming and we'll tag you and everything, okay? Okay, then. Thank All right, you love. for having me on. Be careful out there. All right. Bye.